What is up RC enthusiasts? Check it out. I have my two TRX4M sitting right here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but who could have tires of that one? I haven't even ran that one yet. And this one, it's just a little dirty, but it's just mainly from running in my indoor 3D printed rock course. So not much experience with running these yet. This one so far in my indoor course does pretty well without any mods whatsoever. It does have the Bronco wheels and tires right there, but that's not really a mod. They're pretty much the same grip. It's just, I think the ones that came originally on the Defender are definitely like softer sidewall because the lug patterns are more separated apart, as you can tell on this one. So it just makes it a lot softer on the sidewall. So it'll be really good for a lighter truck like this. And this one right here is a heavier one, so I put the tires that belonged on this one on this guy. Some upgrades arrived, and I still have a couple on order that are on their way here, but check it out. I have a heat sink right here for your motor because when you're slow crawling everywhere you're not going to get any airflow on that motor and anything that can dissipate heat will help out to keep that motor lasting a lot longer these are the Traxxas tires the Canyon trails the reason I got another set is not because I needed it really it's because I wanted it to make my trucks look a little better and I bought the method beadlock wheels I'm waiting for those to arrive I got three sets of those so I'm gonna have six of those wheels because they come in sets of two because I wanted one to be the spare in the back right here. So I'm gonna try to get rid of this fake spare right here and put an actual spare back there. So hopefully it fits back there. But anyway, that'll happen once those actually get in. Last but not least, the Traxxas light kit. And yes, I wanted it for the Bronco at first and I wasn't gonna put a light kit on the Defender. My plan originally was to keep the Defender all stock, obviously except for this tire switch that I did between both of them and run it that way and then modify the Bronco and put the Bronco lights and put you know obviously the spare tire in the back and the heat sink was kind of meant for that but I should have bought two I don't know why I just bought one because it would be good to have it on both but I figured since I'm going to put the low gears probably on the Defender now because I'm going to keep that one stock now so we can see the stock performance versus a modded performance and I'm probably going to put this for now on this guy let's go ahead and you can see right here part number 9784 this is the part number for the pro scale light kit for the Defender and for the Bronco, it's 9783 for that one. And they didn't have that one at my local hobby store, so I just purchased this one and decided I'll do it for this and I'm just gonna get the light kit for that one when it comes in as well because it's pretty cool. These are pretty cool light kits. So you can tell right here, you have front and rear LED lights, working brake light, working reverse light, and hazard lights. And it's all by a push of the button on the ECM. So let's go ahead and let's install these. Obviously all I'm installing is this and the heat sink. This right here is just, I wanted to show that to you guys, the part number 9769 for the Canyon Trails. And for the heat sink, it's part number 9793. Well, here's the chassis right here. As you can tell, the motor's easily accessible. So let's go ahead and let's just install this mod first, and then we'll continue on to the light kit. As you can tell, here's the motor heat sink. There's the motor. And you literally just snap it on like so. There you go looks pretty cool as well and it'll keep your motor cool so double cool <laughs> and the front I don't know if you can tell there's like stickers in there to make it like faux headlights to make them look more realistic I guess but we're gonna go ahead and see what's included in this guy so let's tear this guy open and then the light kit consists of these pods right here which are all integrated so easy to install and it's plugged into the ECM with just one plug and that controls all the functions of this light right here and there's a button on the ECM that you press to switch through the modes of the lights. You get two zip ties and four screws. So unlike the Bronco light kit, this one doesn't seem like you're going to be changing the lenses. It seems like the lenses that are in there are the lenses you're going to be using. So I guess they're just going to be calling these right here retainers, but they look like they can accept LEDs if you decide to use your own lighting on here. You know, you decide to solder up your own LED light kit. You can definitely do that because they accept lights and they actually have clips to hold the LEDs in and stuff same for the front so you don't have to get the pro light kit you can just you know make your own LEDs that fit in here but well, this black part right here you have to unscrew that with that one screw right there both sides and same with the rear there's one screw holding it in place and you're gonna have to unscrew those all right use a 1.5 allen to remove that screw that holds this on right here you see that hole that's the screw that holds it on back there as you can tell it removes this cover and this cover also has that fake light in there already, as you can tell. So I guess that's how you remove that. That's pretty simple. There you go, I have both off right here. These are the screws that I removed to take them off. And as you can tell, they're a little bit shorter than the screws that are in this bag right here. 
is when you install these, they want you to use these screws right here to, to hold these in place because these screws are going to be too short and won't have enough thread holding these in place. The two screws for the back lights are actually external. They're actually right there. That's one of them right there. And the other one is right there behind the high lift jack. I didn't even know the rear one came with a fake light too. And this is the rear one right here. You can tell that's what's left. The lenses and the front lens right there. And now it's time to figure out which is the front and back of this to get this installed. All right, so these two slimmer pods that have this shape right here in the back of them, those are your fronts. As you can tell they're marked left and right. But those are the fronts. As you can tell also another way to tell is that big LED right there in the middle, that's for your headlight. So it's gonna be nice and bright. And then these ones right here are your rear ones and they're also marked left and right. It'll be like this with the wires facing this way, facing the plastic, not facing outwards. So that way everything will be nice and tucked nicely. I hope you can tell right there, one screw, make sure it's square, lines up all nicely. So you can see the LED up front like so. And all the three LEDs there are lined up all nicely. And don't forget to use the longer screw as well to install that. And that's how the back one installs right there. I hope you guys can see that. All right, there we go. They're all installed. And when you screw them in, don't forget, these are just screwed into plastic. So just snug them up, you know, don't tighten them or anything. Just snug and it's good. Here's the wire that goes to your ESC. So what you need to do from here is you see this section right here, this little section so you can zip tie stuff. They have one there, they have a point up here. All right, all that's left to do with this guy is to plug it up to the ECM over here. You have two slots for ACC. And you're just gonna plug it in to that open one right there. And this set button right here, you see, this is what you're going to use right here to toggle the modes of this light kit. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And when it goes in one way, turn on the transmitter over here. There's the tail lights. Nice and bright. And there's the lights. Oh man. This is really bright. The easy set button. As you can tell right there, it turned off the headlights and now you just have the running lights. And in the rear, you still have your tail lights. You click it again. Now all your lights are off. Front and rear. Oh no, your tail lights are still on. Press it again. Now you have your hazards. And that's front and rear. Then you press it again, and now you're in the demo mode. So I believe this mode just goes through all the sequences. And there's the rear. So you can tell when you start moving, lights go off. Oh yeah, this is in crawl mode by the way. If it wasn't, those lights wouldn't be on. So the brake lights wouldn't automatically turn on if this was on trail mode. You'd have to hit the brakes for that to happen. So there you go. And then you have your reverse lights. I wish it was toggleable, you know, on a transmitter. That would be a pretty nice option because my FMS hobby one, you know, it's a uh, it's about the same price as this, I believe, out the box. But it already comes with the lights, so you don't have to spend another twenty-five dollars on lights. And it has all the light options on the controller. Just the press of a button, you could cycle through all the light options that way. This one, you actually have to go in through the truck. But you know what? It doesn't have any uh underbody really or whatever you call that you know the little splash shields and stuff so it shouldn't be too hard to reach in there so that's the only gripe i have with the light kit you know it'd be nice if the transmitter did the options well there you guys go sweet little light kit install simple enough to install motor heat sink also simple to install and now this guy is looking nice and scale super sweet definitely like it a lot now next wait for the light kit on that one. I don't know when it's going to be available. All right, guys, there you go. 
sweet little rig just getting sweeter obviously getting more expensive as you modify it but that's the name of the game another good stuff right here from a pretty popular brand and a pretty sweet build by them they definitely thought this out really well and i do like these guys so hopefully they make more bodies for them in the future because that would be sweet all right guys thanks for watching as usual stay safe out there go have fun and run that rc